It's that time again. The Tuesday News Day is upon us. I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny shot of daily crypto headlines. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. First up, your daily slice of price with a nice big scoop of geopolitical tension. Mm -mm. Bitcoin rallied above $44,000 on Tuesday amid hopes of a breakthrough in the Ukraine crisis. The U.S. had expressed concern that Russia was planning to invade Ukraine within days, with more than 100,000 troops building up around that country's borders. But Moscow now says that some of the soldiers are withdrawing and returning to their bases after completing military drills. Crypto advocates have reacted with alarm after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked the Emergencies Act for the first time in history. This unprecedented step is in response to the Freedom Convoy movement, with truckers paralyzing the capital as they protest against vaccine mandates. On Monday, officials said Canada is broadening the scope of anti-money laundering and terrorist financing rules so they will cover all crowdfunding platforms, including those facilitating crypto transactions. Ilya Dutch Lichtenstein, accused of attempting to launder Bitcoin worth billions, Billions of dollars linked to the 2016 Bitfinex hack has been denied bail. But a judge has ordered that his wife, Heather Morgan, can remain at home until the trial date. She will be ordered to wear an electronic tag with restricted access to the internet and is banned from completing crypto transactions. The pair face 25 years behind bars if convicted. Drake has pocketed more than $1.5 million of Bitcoin after placing a series of crypto bets during the Super Bowl. The rapper successfully predicted that the Los Angeles Rams would win the final outright. He had wagered $471,500 on the outcome of the game, receiving a payout of $711,000. Drake also bet that Odell Beckham Jr. would score at least one touchdown, with the star athlete delivering the goods in the first quarter. That resulted in another payout of $844,000. And finally, Coinbase has revealed that its Super Bowl advert delivered 20 million hits to its landing page in a single minute, far more than it had anticipated. The exchange sparked intrigue in its 60-second spot, with a QR code bouncing around on the screen, prompting many viewers to scan it with their phones. Although Coinbase was prepared to handle millions of simultaneous hits, Chief Marketing Officer Kate Rouch said, The volume we experienced was astounding in comparison to our projections. And speaking of Coinbase, the crypto company is going on a hiring spree in 2022, adding 2,000 employees across its product, engineering, and design teams. In a blog post, the exchange said it needs more help to scale existing products and help to build new ones as part of its mission to increase economic freedom in the world. Chief People Officer LJ Brock added, Whether the market is up or down, we see a clear opportunity, making Coinbase one of the most exciting places to work right now. And if you're looking for some excitement in the crypto world right now, have I got the prescription for you. Liking this video, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. And if you want to do some more thrill-seeking, go spelunking and ask Alex in the description below. Alex is a great source of crypto information for today's headlines or for crypto in general. Again, I've been your host Andrew, this has been the news, and we'll see ya tomorrow.